I had a very weird, in fact, you know, one of the high water weirdness events of my life was when I was young, I used to, uh, I was, I wanted the DMT flash to last longer. So I used to smoke it uh, at the height of LSD trips. And one uh, Christmas vacation, this rooming house that I managed in Berkeley had been, everybody had gone home for Christmas, I thought. And so I decided I would take some LSD and smoke DMT. And, um, and so I took the LSD and then I smoked the DMT. It was just nuts. I mean, it's nuts enough. But this was like turbocharged nuts. It went on and on and on. And finally, I, uh, there was a woman who I rented a room to upstairs uh, named uh, Rosemary, who was supposed to be in Minnesota. And she was an uh, actress and very projective and did everything with great flair. And she apparently came back early from Christmas vacation. So she hit the front steps running of this house and and used her key to let herself into the front door and came right around to my door and started beating on my door. Well, I am by nature a very paranoid person. I mean, I can be up the Rio Yaguas Yasu in the middle of the Amazon basin and if I'm out in the rainforest smoking a joint and a stick is broken anywhere near me, I immediately hide the dope in a, and just, you know, I'm very paranoid. So this woman lets herself in and comes and beats with her clenched fist on, on my bedroom door. Well, I like underwent a, a coronary thrombosis or something and I was in the elf space and they were screeching and chattering and showing me all this stuff. And when she did this, I like I I flew off the bed. I jumped like I jumped two feet in the air and and landed on my feet. And it was it was as though and don't try this at home, folks. It, it, it was as though the uh, this sudden flash of adrenaline and this sudden movement that I made broke up the ordinary division between the trip and norm normality or something anyway I pulled the trip with me into the room I was now standing in the room eyes open but the the elf creatures had come with me and everything had just been like jacked up to some immense level of intensity and there were these rotating geometric things in the room uh, hanging in the air and it was like moving in this jerky motion this thing was going click 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 and it was faceted and every time it would make this large metallic click these plastic triangle shaped brightly colored chips or something like little pieces of a floor tile or something would fly across the room and each one of them had a letter on it in an alien language sort of like Hebrew or Sanskrit and it was just there were several of these machines and these things were ricocheting off the walls and I had an elf hanging off each hand and I was turning around and I was just saying holy shit you know I pull I, I'm 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 uh, and I and then she's still beating on the door, you know. So I stagger over to the door, fling it back, and look at her and say something like, "Way dukwam wapsi bogwanik mum hapikuputik shning." And then she realized at that point what my problem was and uh, and retreated. But I I've, I've never forgotten. It's the one time that it, that they went literary on me, and not only did I see them, not only did I hear them, but I they were printing on the air the message as well. Very curious.